Now the iguana was not at the meeting, for he had not heard the summons. The antelope was sent to fetch him. All of the animals laughed when they saw the iguana coming with the stick still stuck in his ears. Why were they laughing? Because he had sticks on his ears. He still had those sticks still stuck in his ears. Okay? Good. He still couldn't hear. So King Lion pulled the sticks out. Then he said, Iguana, what evil have you been plotting against the python? None. None, cried the iguana. Python is my friend. Then why wouldn't you say good morning to me, demanded the snake. I didn't hear you, or even see you, said the iguana. Mosquito told me such a big lie, I couldn't bear to listen to it, so I put sticks in my ears. So that's why you had sticks in your ears? Yes, said the iguana. It was the mosquito's fault. King Lion said to the council, So it was the mosquito who annoyed the iguana, who frightened the python, who scared the rabbit, who started the crow, who alarmed the monkey, who killed the owlet, and now Mother Owl won't make the sun so that day can come. And over here to the side, you see the what? Punish the mosquito! Punish the mosquito! Cried all of the animals. When Mother Owl heard that, she was satisfied. She turned her head toward the east and hooted. Woo! 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 And what do you think happened next? The sun came up. The sun came up. Meanwhile, listen, listen. Meanwhile, the mosquito had listened to it all from a nearby bush. She crept under a curly leaf and was never found and brought before the council. But because of this, mosquito has a guilty conscience. To this day, she goes about whining in people's ears. Is everyone still angry at me? When she does that, she gets an honest answer. And what do you think that honest answer yeah. is, Shemisa? Yeah. Okay, get, him out, get out of my ear, okay? You hear him? Yeah. And guess what happens? It's, it's all because the mosquito, when a mosquito bug is normally buzzing in your ear, what do you normally do? Slap it. Okay? Okay. So, what was this story of, overall? What was this story about? Okay, Tyler. I'm sorry to interrupt the title, but I'm really about to get some of these students for being rude. Okay, I'm sorry about that. like a pretty much just a big understanding, right? Okay? And once I know throughout the story, okay, they kept saying how the owl, okay, he wouldn't, she, excuse me, she wouldn't, you know, how to bring up the sun. Well, is that how the, how the sun comes up every morning? No. Okay, so that's one formula that we know that was incorrect. Right, okay, because science, we know better than that. It's, it's moving. Okay, so right, we don't depend on an owl to who to let for the sun to come up every morning. Okay, good job, you guys. Good and safe.